Act. The IRS is suggesting some procrastinating filing. We actually made taxes. Some procrastinate filing their taxes this year. That's their recommendation. We call on Curtis Ming with a setback, causing some of them to buy some time. I'm going to clear that one up I for you. I think Thank that's you. what I said. <laughs> wow. Yes, the IRS wanting you to procrastinate. Congress waited until the very end of 2010 to pass a law changing tax codes, and that has created quite the scramble over at the IRS. It is a massive undertaking, and that's why it takes a, a month and a half. It's not often the IRS says hold off filing your taxes, but this year, agents simply aren't ready to process certain returns. Congress got in some major tax legislation by the skin of its teeth last month, making a mess at the IRS. This is because of the late tax legislation that was passed in December. The IRS needs to reprogram its computers to catch up to the new law. So as the IRS reprograms these computers, who does this affect? The IRS estimates 9 million Americans, a million here in California alone, who itemize their deductions and file early. So if you donated to charity in 2010 and want to write it off, you can't file yet. Nor if you're somebody who wants to write off interest tied to a house payment. If you plan to write off itemized sales tax, nope. Nor if you're writing off school tuition or fees. The IRS is asking early filers to wait until mid to late February. So what happens if you file early? Well, if you do it online, it's going to get rejected. And if you mail it in, it's just going to sit there until they're ready to process it. Most people who file early are filing to get their tax refund. Which means if you are eager to file to get a refund this year, that refund check is going to have to wait. Now the tax deadline has already been pushed back to April 18th because of a holiday in Washington, D.C. on April 15th. At least one congressman says the IRS should push back the deadline even further. But the IRS says if you can't get your taxes done on time, you can file for a six-month extension. If you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can call the hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com, and fill out our form. Thank you for straightening that out after I bungled that <laughs> intro.